Hey guys, welcome to a new series called Make This Keto, where yes. I where I take my non-keto twin sister to a restaurant of her choosing, and she tells me what she would normally get, and I will tell her how to make it keto. So today, as you can see, we are outside of Smash Burger. Smash Burger. Oh my gosh, Smash Burger is, Smash. I would say, like one step up from a fast food. It's like a yeah. quick service, but like, it's like the Qdoba of burgers. Exactly. Yep, there you exactly. go. Exactly. So we are going to get inside, look at the menu. She's gonna tell me what she would normally get, and then I will talk to her about the keto options inside. Come on. Okay guys, so here is the menu. As you can see, they have some signature burgers. They have some salads and sides and a bunch of shakes and malts. We're not here for the shakes and malts today. Okay Amber, so what would you normally get from Smash Burger? So guys, traditionally I do the grilled chicken from Smash Burger. Um, I'm a chicken girl myself. So I guess any burger that you get off the signature menu, you can, they can make the chicken version of that. I get the bacon avocado club, the grilled chicken. So. Um, and what do you think would have to happen in order to make that keto? Well, obviously the bun's probably gonna have to come off. I know that. That's about as far as my keto um, knowledge uh, takes me. I, I asked my sister outside, we didn't get this on camera, I'm ashamed, but I asked her if I had to turn my chicken into beef I didn't know the rules as far as meats in keto. I just know a lot of meat are consumed. So fatty, fat meat, that's what I know about keto guys. So I'm limited. So the bun needs to come off. Um, possibly the meat needs to be changed. Ugh, I know bacon's a good thing. Um, everything else is lettuce, tomato, ranch dressing, and mayo um, on a multi-grain bun. So I'm thinking everything else might be able to stay. Maybe the tomato and lettuce, maybe. But I'm excited. Autumn has to help me guys. I'm literally a novice. Okay, so great job. Thank you. Actually, I'm from the best. <laughs> actually, um, you'll be good to know that you're right. The really only thing that has to change is the bun. So a lot of people think, don't get me wrong, a big fatty burger is probably optimal, ideal, but the fact that you already said grilled chicken put you ahead. You know, if you would have said the breaded chicken, I would have been like, whoa, 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 we gotta pull that back. Pause. Exactly. But grilled chicken is great. Tomato will run you a carb or two, but like in the grand scheme of things in a large meal like this, you're still- I can in, get away with yeah, it. Good ranch dressing. Uh, did you say avocado? Avocado. Even better. I know, right? Bacon. I'm keto and I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Except, what would you normally get as the side? The smash fries. <laughs> Those aren't happening got, today. I have the shakes thinking about <laughs> exactly. the smash fries that I would get without question that exactly. I know aren't keto. Those are not keto, but one thing that I noticed, I actually looked up Smash Burger's menu online before we came. They have crispy Brussels sprouts as a side. Do you like Brussels sprouts? <laughs> I was gonna opt for the fried pickles, no. No, because <laughs> those are breaded. Now know, regular right? pickles would be good, but no, not fried pickles. Smash tots. I'll just stop, I'll just stop. Brussels sprouts not it yet. is. None of that it is, so Brussels sprouts it is. So yeah, yeah. Um, but let's get in here, let's yes. order and, and let's eat. So I am going to have the bacon avocado club, a grilled chicken please, no bun, lettuce wrap. Do y'all have it lettuce wrap? Can y'all do it in lettuce wrap? Just no bun. Okay, guys. so no bun, please, for the bacon avocado club. And as my side, I'll take the crispy Brussels sprouts, please. And what about your beverage? What would you normally get? I would normally get a sugar laden Coca Cola. Exactly, but today you're going to get a water. Now, you can't have diet soda, but you'd probably rather die, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna take a walk. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, and I will have, actually, I will have like a build your own burger. I will take a beef burger, also no bun. Pepper Jack, please. I would like grilled onion, lettuce, pickle, bacon. I would like the smash sauce and jalapenos. And then for my side, I would like the Brussels sprouts. And I will take a diet soda. Brussels sprouts, regular smash, no bun, pepper jack, gross. I'm very excited about all of that. That yes. Yeah, looks good to me. Okay guys, so we have our meals, which look at this. Oh, this would be a great thumbnail. Go ahead and move your silverware and then tilt it. And then look at the camera, one, two. Okay. 
So guys, I'm gonna tell you, I feel some type of way about the fact that like, it's legitimately not lettuce wrap. Like they put a burger on a plate. Like you can wrap this in lettuce. Like that's how I feel. But I mean, it does look good, but it's meat on a plate, you know? Meanwhile, I'm distraught <laughs> because I'm missing bread and fried potatoes. Mm. I just, but I'm gonna make it do what it do because the Brussels sprouts sprouts a are in this cup which i don't know i kind of i like it i was gonna say oh you get like a good amount of brussels sprouts and they do smell pretty good mm -hmm. so i'm excited mm -hmm. to try them okay like now i need to like get a freaking knife and fork literally because... knife and fork are we at a steak restaurant exactly literally. okay guys so the first thing i want you to do is let's try these delicious crispy brussels sprouts which i mean mm. big up to smash burgers for like even having these as an option so yeah I know I love them, so what about you? And go. Oh. Mm. Looks like cabbage. Do you like cabbage? I love cabbage. Mm. And it's grilled and charred. Like, I think they said Brussels sprouts taste like a dirty gym sock. And I'm feeling how that could be a thing, but maybe add some salt. This mm. could definitely use salt. I'm dunking mine in some ranch because mm. I think everything may or may not be better at ranch. Mm. Great idea. Nope. <laughs> Still tastes like a sock. Still gym <laughs> <laughs> And this is why I'm keto and she's not. Facts. But, guys, really, I'm thinking about transitioning over to keto. Not necessarily. Is this new? This is the. <laughs> This is the first I've heard of this, so continue. You guys heard it here first. Exactly. Hey, the exclusive. Exactly. I just dropped it. Uh, apparently. Um, because I can say, unlike Autumn, I've never really had to struggle with my weight my mm. entire life. Like, Preach, girl. Like, being twins, like, I was the skinny twin. Mm -hmm. Autumn was always the smart twin. Exactly, <laughs> girl, because they beat. Oh, look at us now. But um, I was just telling her how I don't really have any plans for how I eat. I don't, you know, Autumn, of course, told me to focus on calories as far as figuring out how many calories I need per day. So just figuring that out and just thinking about how the ketogenic lifestyle isn't a, I mean, it's good for you not being dependent on sugar. So I do understand the health benefits outside of just trying to lose weight because fortunately I'm not in a position where I have to worry about my weight, which I know it's very fortunate. So I'll be doing mm. it more so for the health uh, benefit. So I'm just thinking about it. So I'm excited about doing this. So am I. Apparently, I know. I know. So you guys, I shouldn't have to do rocket science to get my burger on a fork. So is that? Is that? Oh, it tastes good though. Whoa. What is that? Okay. I have a dipping sauce of honey mustard, which no one asked for. I was going to say, I thought you asked for the. Oh. I'm putting that right back down. And I think this is the smash sauce. Oh, it's so not this is ranch. Not ranch. No, it might be. That might be ranch. This might be smash sauce. Oh, I think I want some. Or this could be ranch. I don't know. Yeah, he said smash sauce. I want. I wanted to see if it was different or not. You can have some of mine. I feel like they look the same. I feel like they look exactly the same. It's ranch. I'm eating the Brussels sprouts because I'm hungry. Truth, truth mom. But keto on. I was gonna say keto yo. Shout out to Colin Keto because oh baby. Oh my god, baby. She loves you. Hey, we gotta include this footage. I'm feeling all types of ways. And I will say, it is an adjustment. Like it's it's easy to just walk up to the counter and be like, can I get a burger and fries? You know? So Definitely. it does take some planning, it does take some substituting, asking for things that they may or may not be able to accommodate. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day. Your health comes first, and you're paying for it anyway, so either they can do it or they can't, you know? They can do it. <laughs> oh, this water is so crisp and refreshing. Said no one. <laughs> I'm distraught. We gotta tell the people, well, when we figure out where we're gonna go next, so. No, 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 you figure out where we're gonna go next. <laughs> Please, get in the comments and let us know where we're going next. What's near you? What's a chain? Somewhere that most places could have, so mm -hmm. help as many people as possible. But we're open, guys. Drop suggestions below about where we need to hit up next. Oh my gosh. <laughs> TV timeout. It's a technical. Live on the plane. Live on the plane. <laughs> oh my gosh. My meal went everywhere. I'm still eating it, though. I mean, we've got no shame. Exactly. Here.
Lettuce wrap. Is that so hard? <laughs> <laughs> wrap it. I want to use my hands. Lettuce wrap. Knife and fork. Exactly. Mm. What is this, Ruth's Chris? You guys like knife and fork Tetris aside, this tastes amazing. So we're just gonna eat this and then we're gonna be back to wrap up. Okay guys, we are back in the car. Okay, yes. overall, what did you think? I'm giving it like a six out of ten. Okay. If we were had to like do a number scale, absolutely. Like the chicken consisting of five of the points because <laughs> <laughs> It was just undefeated. You can't go wrong with the grilled chicken. It was delicious. Okay. And the breast, the side options, I'm really, maybe the side salad next time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just not a Brussels sprouts girl, mm -hmm. um, but they were good. I told Autumn, they were definitely good if you liked Brussels sprouts. Yes. Definitely, um, maybe even a seven out of 10 because they had a ton of other sides yes. that you could add on as well, build your own. So maybe I would do that more and add a few more toppings on, mm -hmm. but it was definitely, I mean, not impossible at all, and f I'm full, so it's definitely filling. You know what? Me too. That's what yeah. I was thinking. A lot of times, unfortunately, when you go to restaurants and you have to do substitutions, it's like remove the bun, remove the fries, don't put this on here, and you end up paying like fourteen dollars for just like basically one slab of meat. Only to you still know? be hungry again. Exactly. Yeah. So like, I really did like how they had options and filling options, yes. and like. That is definitely, Smashburger is definitely a good keto option. Definitely. So I wouldn't mind hitting it back up again and switching some things around, maybe getting a burger this time, mm -hmm. adding different toppings mm -hmm. and getting a salad. That would definitely be something I would consider for Diet Coke. <sighs> Stick with water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well like overall this was awesome. So fun. Yeah, so now you would know like if we were to go somewhere, like that's how I would make Smashburger Keto. That's wonderful. I have way more knowledge than I did about 30 minutes ago before we walked in. <laughs> Where are we hitting up next? Where are we going next? Where are we going next? It's on you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review, recipe, store visit, and make this keto. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Smash you later. Nice! Nice! Oh, no, so that was so good! Oh my god. <laughs>